welcome to today's prophetic word. I'm Kay Nash. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button as we're releasing daily words up until September 16th to push us into Rosh Hashanah, which is September 18th through September 20th. So you're welcome to join us with that. All right, everyone, let's jump into what I feel like the Lord is saying for today. What I really felt the Lord emphasizing was the number seven today. And I heard him say the seventh time. Mm. All right, I'm going to read what I felt. Look the seventh time and see something new. Do you believe when you do not see the full manifestation of your promise? Will you go on the small thing I tell you? Will you walk when you have seen nothing? It may be hard to walk blind, but I will reveal all soon. Trust me and jump and slide the slide of faith as it shifts you ever so slightly to reveal my promise for you. Follow my small promptings. Did I not knock down the walls of Jericho on the seventh time of them walking around? Stay in the fight. I will put you in. Even when you see nothing, press ahead. I am speaking to your heart the truth. Trust my test. You have passed if you stayed in the fight when you see nothing because you walk by faith but not by sight. Trust and go. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's kind of my mug today. Walk by faith and not by sight, but it, when I drink it, it's turned around. But anyway. All right, so I was kind of feeling like the Lord was talking to me about a couple of things in the Bible and just kind of revealing that they're both the seven time. When the walls of Jericho fall, it's the seven time. Um, and also when the servant is looking for the cloud to symbolize the coming of rain, it's the seventh time. I felt like the Lord was saying, it's the seventh time. Let's jump into some of these scriptures today. And the Lord said to Joshua, Behold, I have delivered Jericho into your hand, along with its king and its mighty men of valor. March around the city with all the men of war circling the city one time. Do this for six days. Have seven priests carry seven ram horns in the front of the ark. Then on the seventh day, march around the city seven times while the priests blow the horns. And when there is a long blast of the ram's horn and you hear it sound, have all the people give a mighty shout. Then the wall of the city will collapse and all your people will charge straight into the city. So Joshua, son of Nun, some of the priests said, Take up, Jesus, the Ark of the Covenant, and have seven priests carry seven ram horns in front of the Ark of the Lord. And he told the people, Advance and march the city with the armed troops going ahead of the Ark of the Lord. Now, we know that this is what actually happened. So they do this, they walk around seven times, and then the wall collapses. Jesus, the wall collapses. Your wall is about to collapse. Don't give up now. I know you might be weary. I know you don't want to do it. I know you're sick of it. And you're like, how many times am I going to do this? And the Lord is saying, do it again, Joshua. Do it again. Mm. There's power when you follow the Lord's instructions, even if he tells you to do it over and over again. Here's another thing. This is 1 Kings 18, 17. Go and look towards the sea, he said to the servant. So the servant went and looked, and he said, There is nothing there. Seven times Elijah said, Go back. On the seventh time, the servant reported, There is a cloud as small as a man's hand rising from the sea. And Elijah replied, Go and tell Ahab, Prepare your chariot and go down before the rain stops you. Meanwhile, the sky grew dark with clouds and wind, and a heavy rain began to fall. Mm, mm. I feel the Lord saying the comfort rain is going to be coming. You know, you might just not want to do that. You know, can you imagine being that servant? You're running up there and you're like, there's no cloud. There's no cloud. There's no cloud. There's nothing. And you're just like, you're done. You're done of doing the same thing over and over again. You know, the world says the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. Whereas God says, do what I told you again and the promise will break forth. I pray you have a deliverance of your mind in the name of Jesus. That you keep going and you create that light bulb like moment. You know how long it took him to create the light bulb? Over and over again he tried. Hallelujah. But then it came out. You know, you might be walking around trying to get something to come out and you might have been knocking on doors and no one is opening that door. And the Lord says, keep going, the door will open. Hallelujah. Mm. Now, this is another verse I felt like the Lord was highlighting. 
Um, this is 1 Timothy 1.18. This charge I commit to you, son Timothy, according to the prophecies previously made concerning you, that by them you wage the good warfare. Now, this, this is interesting too because it's like, you know, our promises just aren't going to fall into our lap and be like, oh, here they are. Now, sometimes they do. Sometimes God just does something to bless us and it was easy and it was just like, here it is. But he, you know, Paul is encouraging Timothy in this passage and he's saying, you know, fight the fight of faith. Go after what God had told you was going to happen in your life. It says, I love this. It says, you know, Timothy, according to the prophecies previously made about you, go after them and wage the good warfare. You know, it's like you might have had some prophecies spoken over you and you're like, you know what, this just ain't happening. But this is the moment, this is the seventh time moment where you're going to see your breakthrough, where you're going to see your miracle. I saw this sluggishness and this weariness, you know, in the Bible it says, you know, that the sluggish man does not go out because he says, oh, there's a lion in the street and he's afraid of the lion, you know. And there could be things going on that you're like, I just don't want to deal with this. I just don't want to press that. I just don't want to do this. But you've got to press ahead because that seventh time miracle is coming. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Mm. Another verse for today is 1 Timothy 6, 12. Fight the good fight of faith. Mm. You Sometimes you're going to have to fight for these things, you know. It's like, can you imagine how ridiculous they probably felt just walking around the city time and time again, time and time again. And the world would say to you, you've already done that. It's not going to work. Why are you doing this again? And God's like, trust my presence. As his presence was on the people, the presence starts surrounding the city. And the presence starts getting heavier. And the presence collapses the wall. Hallelujah. You know, the servant didn't have to go keep checking, but he trusted that his his master knew the Lord's voice, okay? Now, obviously, he's a servant, so he has to listen, but he trusted that he knew the Lord's voice. So even though it wasn't making sense in the natural, he knew that Elijah was an accurate prophet and he was going to keep checking until Elijah's word manifested. Just because you don't see a prophetic word happen in the time frame you want it to happen doesn't mean it's not going to happen. Put your hand to the plow, beloved. God is going to bring it to pass. Mm. So I just want to encourage you today, ask the Lord, what is your seventh time thing? What is the thing that you need to keep doing in order to press ahead in this hour? Mm. All right, you guys. Well, I have a giveaway today. I'm going to be doing a giveaway. Um, it's for our, dis let me try to get this out here. It's going to be for our Discerning the Spirits book. Um, we had a couple of copies come in that were slightly damaged on the outside. And I don't, I don't like selling copies that are slightly damaged on the outside. But on the inside, all the material is still perfect. So nothing inside is any different. But I'm going to be doing an, a giveaway with that on our Instagram. There are six of them. Um, the rules are this, that you um, are subscribed here on YouTube. You're with us. You're subscribed on Instagram. And the third thing is on Instagram that um, you basically comment how you were affected by COVID. If there's something, I felt like the Lord said to give this to people who were affected by COVID. If you lost your job, if you lost finances, if you were sick, if you lost a relative, anything that happened to you, comment it below. And um, we're going to choose six people that the Lord kind of highlights to us. And we're going to send these to you for free. Um, because of the cost of shipping, I am keeping this open to U.S. members only. I'm sorry, guys. It's just so expensive sometimes to ship it overseas. So um, I am just keeping this open to U.S. people. But hopefully we'll do an international one again soon. All right, you guys. Well, I hope you were blessed by this today. And I, I pray that you keep in mind the seventh time. Encourage yourself. Read the scriptures about Jericho's wall falling. Read the scriptures about the rain coming after the cloud wasn't there. The rain come. Just when you start to see the bud, run for it. Hallelujah. All right, you guys. I love you, and I'll see you tomorrow. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. I'll be back tomorrow at 9 a.m. with another prophetic word, and we're pushing into the new year. All right. Love you guys. God bless. See you later.